Howdy everyone, my name is Keeper and welcome back to Kindergarten! Now, I had another video ready for today. I think this is actually day six in the game. I had another video of Kindergarten. But it was just me blabbering around, still not knowing what the heck was going on. So I had a friend tell me, and I did a little bit of research myself, into exactly what the heck you're supposed to do in this game. Also, okay, uh, bugs just take my stuff. And apparently, there's a lot. There is a lot. I have it looked up right here. There are a lot of missions. And so, if I were to continue my blundering around, that would take me at least another 20 episodes to figure out what was going on. So, as it stands, there's already gonna be another too many. All right, give bugs the $2. I thought I had more money. Apparently, I only had four, which sucks. I was right, though, for the most part, in that every character has an item that you need to get from them. What I didn't know is that it's not only based on the choices you make in each thing, you actually have to have items from one kid to give to another in order to get their item. So you have to kind of do things in, in kind of an order, not really, but you have to make sure you complete certain people first before you can complete others. So I have gone ahead and looked up a walkthrough of sorts just so I can have an idea of what I need to do. Today, we're going to be getting Cindy's. That's Cindy, she's gonna give me a flower. But what I have to do first is I gotta beat up bugs. So I think I need to, hey bugs. What do you want dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store and get some cigarettes is all. Get out of here, I'll beat you so hard, it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you, bugs. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you. Uh, teacher, uh, teacher. Bugs, how dare you attack another student unprovoked again? That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so we can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. After this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go. Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. No. Oh. Sorry, Bugs. Goodbye. He's gone forever. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star as promised. Ah, thank you. Now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's a principal's kid. Yeah, no. We're not doing this today. Oh, that's unexpected. But I can respect that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh. Well, that's a nice answer. All right, now I'm bleeding out of my eye. Which is lovely. I hate it when that happens, but okay. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Uh, sure. I guess, or something. Heh, that's what I like to hear, and we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. But first, you have to do something for me. Uh, isn't our love enough? <laughs> that's cute, but no. No, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Uh, I'm not proving anything to you. How do I do that? You see that girl over there? That's a Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick in her hair during lunchtime. Got it? Yeah, okay. Oh, yay, this is gonna be so great. Oh, she'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you've done it. What happened to her brother? You haven't heard? He went missing. Is his parents totally stole the thunder from my dog, Biscuit, going missing? I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. I, I care about you. Your dog went missing too? Yeah, I brought her in for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed, so he took her. Apparently she escaped from his closet and they couldn't find her. Totally not made into biscuit balls. Ugh. Maybe I can find your dog instead? Hmm. Interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? You love Biscuit more? Um, no, I, I definitely hate Lily more. Oh. Yeah, Lily is actually a despicable person. Her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit. Just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk to me afterward. You got it. Kind of twisted and messed up a little bit, but okay. I think that's everything I had to do here. Let's move on. I feel gross. Like I just agreed to do something terrible. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you, you could be. I'll go find a partner then or something, I guess. All right. <clears throat> oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. 
Did you just? Oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That's that's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? I don't even care. Leave me alone. Sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! Cindy, why you're a terrible person? Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow. What happened? Did she? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. Do I want to do that though? Not really. Um, but before we do that, you need to get cleaned up. No way any boyfriend of mine is going to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I'll be over by the dollhouse. Okay, fine. How do I do that? This wasn't in the manual. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom? Uh, okay. I need to, I need to go. Do I have to get the hall pass from Jerome? Oh, no, no, no. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know, can you? Whoa, teacher. Whoa. <laughs> May I use the bathroom? Of course, now that you've asked correctly. Here's the bathroom pass. I'm just getting her voice and Cindy's voice confused. Whoops. Of course, now that you've asked correctly, here's the bathroom pass. Gee, thanks. Just be back soon. Okay, now. Square him up, square him up, right up. Not so fast, said little dude. I gotta need you to hall pass before I can let you by. Here's my pass. Okay, I'll let you pass, but I can't let you go any further than the bathroom. That's fair. Okay, got it. Do they have pass? Oh. So, uh. Hey, don't go messing around. <laughs> oh boy, I don't wanna. Don't go mess around with those bags. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm gonna avoid that. I'm just gonna wash up. I'm just gonna wash. Assignment complete. The janitor's got some shifty eyes. Just saying. All right, moving on. This place is a little creepy for my taste. Oh, you're back. I'll take that bathroom pass back now. Go back to your morning time. Okay, fine. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to be making dinner tonight. Why? Why? Yeah, because I've been so busy maintaining the house and I... I've been drinking again? Uh, not that I know of. No, honey, I'm just tired. Oh, uh, that thing you're smelling? That's a set of... Tired. <laughs> Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you wouldn't mind blowing into this then. Is that a breathalyzer? Okay. You bet it is. And if you blow so much as 0 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. I have a sponsor? Uh, I'll take the tag. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Blow. Oh, point 0.32. You're trashed right now. How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How could you be a father when you can't even take care of me? I have kids now. How can you be a father when you can't even take care of yourself? Be a father? I... Well, well, you were in prison. Well, I was in prison. It, it's probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. You cheated on me. I want a divorce. We can work through this. Ah! I don't want to be mean. We can work through this. You think so? No, you... Oh, yes, I do. Wow, alcoholism aside, you really are a great guy. So what should we do about the baby? Oh, so you're pregnant. Oh, God damn. We're in kindergarten. Keep it. I guess. That's so wonderful you would do that. Thank you. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay, was I not allowed to before? Great, I'll see you then. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's head down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. Oh my god. I don't want to be in kindergarten anymore. I really don't. Ah, oh, jeez. I figured you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good. I don't think anyone... Round here is brave enough to try a biscuit from the gen or dumb old man can't even spell it right. Here's what's for sale. I'd buy a salad. I don't need a salad. Looking to cut some fat from your diet? 
Excuse me? Don't you be judging me. Yeah, I wouldn't want to look like bugs either. It's a totally healthy and vegan choice. Goes for 75 cents. I'll buy it, but it's not for me. Don't need anything else. Oh, I have the breathalyzer now. Did I need that for something? I can't remember. But that's interesting to know. How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty and nutritious slop for lunch? Sure. There you go, buddy boy. Don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. Okay, that's great. That's good. Duly noted. Thanks. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have slop. Eat slop. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Hey, sweetie. Could you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan. Yeah, you know. Um, like... I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. Just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. Oh, here's a salad. Uh, a salad? Oh, now that I think about it, I guess I would be vegan, huh? Gross. Why do I do this to myself? I'm such a horrible person. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. Like what? Hmm, I have an idea. Oh, Lindy, or not Lindy, sorry, Lily. Lily is still crying, still has the gum in her hair. That's actually really sad. I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum. Maybe we could put something else in there. Let's not. Oh no. Oh no, the bucket of blood. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if this was in the video that went out or the video that I was editing yesterday, but there's a bucket of blood in the janitor's closet. And it, it would you would you go over and we'll probably see it in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> Jerome was telling me about how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I think we find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Well, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. You have the key. Yep, a girl has her way. I don't want to, I don't need to know that. I don't want to know that. I'm going to head over and pay off the lunch lady so she can get, so you can get going on down to that nasty closet. Okay, that's silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just go in, just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Okay. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. Jander will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this thing! And now, you're good to go. Hurry back! Oh my god, I know exactly what we're doing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I still got a black eye, I didn't even notice. This is the door to Jander's closet. It's locked. It's not locked anymore. I love keys. Oh. Yo, dude, this. Oh, it's a bucket that's catching the blood from the thing on the table, which is probably a body. I don't know if I need to spell that out for you guys, but it's probably a body. This would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. I saw that first time I came in here and wondered why it said that, but now, now I'm kind of getting it. Take the bucket. Oh my God. Oh boy. Now what? Sorry. I'm tired. Oh. oh, did the slop give you the run? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. All the other kids are out at recess now. Go run along! Crazy old lady. Oh, everyone's still here except for, you know, the guy we killed. Bugs. 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 Oh, yeah. The reason I was getting Bugs and Monty confused this whole time, and I, I'm still getting them confused in my head is because I was thinking bugs like, like bug-eyed, like, like what you would call someone who wears glasses, like to make fun of them. That just kind of made sense in my head. So that's why I always thought Monty, who's the glasses kid with bugs. And then it made sense in my head. Oh, Cindy, what are we gonna do? Well, what did you get? A bucket full of blood. Oh my God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind. I don't wanna know. Uh, me neither. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. I'm gonna get in position. There's no option to get out of it now. Oh no. Oh no. Hey Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Oh, I have to move. Oh, oh. I could dump it on Cindy's head. 
I don't know what happens if I dump it on a sunny side, but it seems to be an option. Why am I questioning myself so much? Why am I doing this to poor Lily? Oh. Ah! That's how I would scream. So I'm just assuming that's how she would scream. Oh my God. What did you just Oh, You and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You made me miserable for so long. Oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh my god, no. Oh, we killed her. Oh, we killed her. Oh, we killed her. Why, Cindy, do you do this to me? I'm a murderer. Well, not as much of a murderer as the janitor, but I'm still a murderer. Wow, that hole is deep. You think she died? Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. And I don't want to. I want to stay up here where it's safe. That was so great. You made me so happy today. Why don't you take this flower? It's pretty, like me. That way you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Take Cindy's flower. I got the flower, which is what I came for. Now you'll have the best thing ever for show and tell. Gosh, I am so great. You sure are. Oh dear. Has anyone seen Lily? I can't see her anywhere. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever God your messed up family believes in, if Lily fell down that hole you dug, I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give the teacher the satisfaction. Teacher will never take Nugget alive. Oh God, no, he too. <laughs> oh jeez, no. Wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. Oh, janitor! I'm coming, I'm coming. What well, seems the problem here, Miss Jigglytis? <laughs> well, I didn't say it, but you know. It's Applegate, and two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? <laughs> Uh, I, she's probably gonna take that offer. Oh no, okay. No, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well, it's less fun, but I guess I can do that. Might take a while though. Might be best you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children, we're gonna cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. There's only four of us left. And Monty could not be here. I also know how to get Jerome not here. Getting rid of all the kids seems pretty easy. Next time! Hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? I brought a flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's, what was there even to tell about that? It's not boring. I gave it to him because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just gonna skip you and move on to someone more interesting. Wow. Wow. Okay, who's next? It's not gonna be hard to beat that, so don't be shy. Wow. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had fun today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Well! I did it! That's so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always, Joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. I did it. I did it. I feel like a terrible, horrible person. Apparently I had to beat up bugs at the start. Well, not beat him up, but get him ex expelled because he would have taken the flower during show and tell. Um, but that's the first mission. I don't feel good about it, but we did it. Wow, I got no money. I've got literally less than a dollar in my pay bank now. I've been a bad, bad boy. Really have been. Also, that teacher's voice. I know I changed it like three times, but ugh, hard in my throat. That will do it for today's episode of Kindergarten. Actually, <laughs> funny story. I've been trying to record this all morning, but there's been construction nonstop outside until like half an hour ago. So this video is going up late today. I apologize, but I promised my little brother he really wanted to see another one. I promised him to go up today. So for now, thank you all so much for watching this video. You can check out the other videos I've done. The bubbles coming up on your screen and hope it's more next time so we keep on gaming together. Until then. See ya. Oh, Mr. Janitor!